reset my password so that i can change my forgotten or my previous password which one i forgot forgot right right forgot okay and dependencies so here the dependencies the uh, the user should have a valid email address and then the user should register register be registered to the application uh oh, oh. forgot password link right so after i click on this forgot password link then it should pop up a, a form with the email, email ID field. Or yeah user. yep and i click on the forgot password link and then it should pop up pop up uh, uh, with an input field and I input the uh, registered okay you have to give the registered email address which one you have already uh, give uh, to registration registered yeah. email address uh, uh, then it should send a one time password. Okay. Uh, is it like this? Let me see. Because we can do in multiple way, but let's see how it looks like. Okay, mail has been sent. So if I go to my email. I think it was mine. Oh, no, <laughs> I, I gave my email address. Okay. I gave my one. Oh, okay. okay. Now it goes into the spam. Oh, no. So I think it also is not working properly, maybe. Okay. So let's go here. So what it should do, it should actually send a link actually. Okay. So how we can do so after giving this email address, when I will uh, click on the send mail. So what it will do, it will actually send a link to reset mm -hmm. the password into my email address. So what I will do, I will click on that link and then it will redirect me directly to the another page where I can actually give my uh, new password. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. And then after giving the new password, then it will actually navigate to me into the login page so that I will actually give with my, the email address and my login, I um, mean my new password. Okay, this is the flow. So then it should send an and a link and a link uh, to change the password on the on my on my given email address uh, when I uh, click on that link and uh, then it navigates it should navigate me me to the uh, another page where a with a form with a form to input the new password and confirm new password okay so that means it there will be two input field one will be will give the new password and our, again we will have to give the confirm new password that means we'll have to give the same password again right we, we saw that right uh, we used to see like this type of uh like to confirm the password it asks two times right right then uh i click on the submit button uh, submit button sorry when when i input when i input the new password in the on new password in the both field both fields when, and i click on the submit button then it should navigate me to the login page okay mm -hmm. so is it good now yes so see so first of all you have to understand the like you have to understand all the like flow then the sequence uh, it's not like something that uh uh something is the rocket science Actually, I am writing smoothly because I already, I, I know all these like flows, right? So how will you know? You will have to actually explore. You will have to actually, the uh, you whatever the day-to-day -day application you use, uh, you will see that these are the common features in all the applications, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you didn't think like this way uh, before, the, like when you, until you meet like this, right? until you think like this mm. so always like you just simply use and like the the thing like this but when right from now whenever you will uh, use any application or your day-to-day -day applications you just think like this okay this is also like i can convert into the user stories uh this is also can be uh like this is all the things are actually happens behind the scene right sure so then thing like that then you will see also you can explore so many things okay mm -hmm. so save and close okay so <clears throat> these are the authentication and authorization and let's go to the user management now so user should be able to update uh, the email address okay so in the update field uh we can not okay so we should not okay we can also update the name but we can update the name only once okay update the name because it is not a good practice if i give the a username to change the name continuously right because uh no one changed the name like every week or every month right the name always a human's name is fixed right but still, like if in the for in the uh, during the registration time, if somehow he do any fat fingering, 
like mistakenly he just uh, give his uh, like the wrong name or something and him spelling mistake so he won't